Okay, so we have two disorder affecting the adrenal cortex, the Cushing's, and you have your Addison's disease. So your basic pathophysiologic problem here is just to remember the three S, which is your S, S, S. Okay, in Cushing's, you have increased glucocorticoids, mineralocorticoids, and your androgens. Okay, so the GMA here, Okay, the glucocorticoids, the mineralocorticoids, and your androgens in Cushing's is increase. Okay, so increase. While in Addison's, the GMA is decrease. If you have decreased glucocorticoids, mineralocorticoids, and your androgens, you also have to expect decrease of sugar, salt, and your sex hormones. In Cushing's, you have increased glucocorticoids, mineralocorticoids, and increased androgens, increasing also your sugar, salt, and your sex hormones, okay? So the first S here is your sugar, then you have your salt, then you have your sex hormones, all right? So I still need your full attention, okay? Okay, you can participate. Okay, where should I place EC fatigability due to hypoglycemia? Okay, hypoglycemia obviously is in Addison's, why? Okay, hypoglycemia here in your Addison's disease. And hypoglycemia can lead to fatigue. Okay, why hypoglycemia? We have decreased glucocorticoids, decreasing your sugar. Okay, where should I place hyperglycemia then? Cushing's. Okay, so hyperglycemia in your Cushing's. Okay, you have your hyperglycemia. Where should I place water retention? Edema, weight gain. You also have your buffalo hump, and you also have moon face, and your truncal obesity. Those clinical manifestations are related to water retention. So since Cushing's, you have increase in salt, increase in mineral corticoids, so expect water retention in your Cushing syndrome, okay? So in Cushing, since you have increased salt here or mineral corticoids, client will develop edema. Edema can lead to weight gain. Okay. And the water retention can lead to a characteristic moon phase. Okay. And you also have what you call your truncal obesity. So this is, okay, present and client with, okay, Cushing's. All are related to your salt or your water retention. Remember, you have increased in letter M, which is the mineralocorticoids, okay? When you say, okay, moon phase, there is water retention at the facial area. We said truncal obesity, the trunk is extending because of water retention, but the four extremities are very thin. So you have your thin arms and your thin legs. So that is what you call truncal obesity. While in patient with Addison's, you have decreased mineralocorticoids, decreasing your salt. So client here will develop, okay, dehydration due to the decrease of your water. Then the patient here will develop hypotension, okay, because you have decrease in water, okay, or your salt, okay, so salt attracts water. Okay, remember nurses that your steroidal hormones are immunosuppressant. And where should I place infection? Obviously, I have to place infection in client with increased level of steroidal hormones. And those steroidal hormones are immunosuppressant. Okay, so the patient is now at risk to develop infection. So I have to place infection here in your Cushing's syndrome. Again, your steroidal hormones are increased in Cushing's and steroidal hormones are immunosuppressant. So, infection is expected in Cushing's disease, okay? Then, where should I place osteoporosis? Steroidal hormones also cause demineralization of bone. So, if I have long-term use of steroidal hormones, there is now osteoporosis. So, osteoporosis is common in Cushing's disease or Cushing syndrome because you have the steroidal hormones which is increased here 
and steroidal hormones can lead to demineralization of your bone. So you have